Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the area of the shaded region. I have ABC is an arc of a circle with center O and radius 8 centimeters. The line AC is a chord of the circle. Angle AOC equals 120 degrees. Calculate the perimeter of the shaded segment to two significant figures. So basically, the perimeter of any shape is the total distance around the outside of the shape. So the perimeter we're going to calculate is shown A, B, and C. There are two ways of solving this problem. I'm going to show you the two ways. In the first method, I'm going to be using my sign rule. If I draw out my triangle AOC, as shown, I have triangle AOC, just a rough sketch. I have O and I have this angle as 120 degrees. I have A and C. I have the radius 8 centimeter, 8 centimeter. What I have is an isosceles triangle with two equal sides 8 centimeter. And going by the property of an isosceles triangle, the base angle are also equal. So therefore, the angle at A and the angle at C will be equal. So let me state that I have OA is equal to OC, that's the radii. Then we have angle A is equal to angle C, and the reason being that's an isosceles triangle. A or C. Therefore, to find the angle at A or the angle at C, let me call that X. We have 120 degrees, the angle at O, plus X, plus X equals 180 degrees. The sum of the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So I have 120 degrees plus 2X. I'm going to simplify and find the value of x. Taking 120 degrees to the other side, I have 180 minus 120, and that will give us 60. Therefore, to find x, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I have 60 degrees divided by 2. The value of x is 30 degrees. So I'm going to change that in the diagram. That being said, I'm going to start by finding the distance AC. Then I will find the distance ABC because that is an arc. So to start with the distance AC, I have the triangle AOC as shown in the diagram. Using my sine rule, I have side AC over the sine of the angle facing AC, that's sine 120 degrees, is equal to I can pick any of the sides. I have side OA equal to the sine of the angle facing my side OA. That's 30 degrees. I have AC. That's the side I'm looking for. Cross multiplying here. I have AC times sine 30 degrees equals OA multiplying sine. 120 degrees. Remember, OA is 8 centimeters, so I'm going to slot that in. I have AC sine 30 degrees equals 8 times sine 120 degrees. And to find AC, I'm going to divide both sides by sine 30 degrees. I have this going out. Then I'm left with AC equals its root. 3, which is the same as 13.86 centimeters. So now that I have the value of AC, I'm going to look for the length ABC. The arc of line ABC is equal to, the formula says, 2 pi r over 3 
because that's a third of a circle but I'm going to use the main formula I'm going to explain that in the second method to find arc ABC I'm going to use the formula theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi r or pi diameter we've been given the angle theta to be 120 degrees over 360 degrees times 2 pi r is a radius which is 8 and if i punch that in i'm going to have the value of arc abc equals 16.76 centimeters so i have this arc to be 16.76 centimeters therefore to find the perimeter of the arc abc and the line ac that's the total distance around the shape abc i have that as i'm going to add the line abc or arc abc plus the distance ac that will be 16.76 centimeters plus the line ac that's 13. 86 centimeters and that is and that is equal to 30.62 centimeters to two significant figures in the next explanation i'm going to show you how to solve the same question using the cost rule so for the second method and to calculate the perimeter of the shaded segment that ABC has shown. So to start with, I'm going to find the distance AC. Drawing a rough sketch, I have OC to be 8 cm, or A to be 8 cm. For cost rule, the cost rule states that AC squared, that's the side facing the angle, is equal to the square of the other two sides so that's OA squared plus OC squared minus 2 times OA times OC plus the angle subtended by the two sides 120 degrees I have AC squared equals 8 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 8 times 8 times cos 120 degrees I have that as 8 squared 64 plus 64 minus 128 that's 2 times 8 times 8 cos 120 degrees and if you punch that in I have AC squared equals 192 to find the value of AC I'm going to square find the square root of both sides Therefore, my AC equals 13.86 centimeters. So basically, I can either use the sine rule or the cost rule to find the value of the distance AC. The second step, to find the length of arc ABC, I have arc ABC is equal to the circumference of a circle that's 2 pi r over 3 so basically what i've done is to find a third of the circumference of a circle why i'm finding the circumference of a circle is if you look at the angle that's 120 degrees 120 degrees is a third of 360 degree the angle at a point is 360 degrees. So basically, if I complete this circle, the rest of this angle will be 240 degrees, which is two third of 360. So to find the angle at a point, the sum of the angles at the point is 360, 120 degree is a third of that 360. So that's why using the formula for the circumference of a circle, that's two pi r, I'm finding or I'm dividing it by 3 to find the distance ABC 
as shown in the diagram. Put in my values, I have 2 times pi times r, my r here is 8 centimeters, divided by 3. And if I punch that in, what I'm going to have is 16.76 centimeters. Therefore, to find the perimeter of the all shaded region, I have that as perimeter equals the line AC plus the arc ABC. And that's 13.86 plus 16.76 all in centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter P is equal to 30.62 centimeters to two significant figures. Remember, in my first method, I also got 30.62 centimeters. Thanks for watching. Bye.